Welcome to My Power Again. Today, I'm going to bring you a news use case in education, whereby I will provide a simple guide for educators to build an AI system on My Power that can help automate student reports at scale. Writing student report can be really time consuming, and I hope that with this workflow and the AI system that you build on My Power can help you save a ton of time. So first, I'm going to show you how this workflow runs and the sec in the second part I will show you how you can book run um, book run this workflow for let's say like a class of 30 to 40 students at once so let's come to the first part um, I have my current workflow here this workflow required input of grade level student name student pronoun and yeah some general feedback from the beginning so um, I will start running this workflow to see for you to see how it work based on the input that i provided this workflow start generating for me my complete report about the student So this is the report that is produced. Now I'm going to show you how you can create this workflow. A simple guide is that you can click on the template library from MyPal and you can duplicate it for use later. Or you can, or you can create, create new workflow based on your format or your template for example you don't want like it to generate strength and weakness but you want to divide it into two steps or you want it to to um, write more specifically about um, a quality of the student for example hardworking let's say hardworking or let's say um, learning performance so um, to generate a workflow to generate a new workflow, first part, you need to define the task of the workflow. For example, task here, we want to, it to generate a student report. Then you need to define the input that you want for the workflow. So to produce a report, right, you will need some input like grade level, student names, student pronouns and in some cases maybe you want to write this report to parents so you would input parents information here as well so let's say define the input we have grade level or maybe student name student pronoun and of course there will be your input of original feedback or in some case you can generate a report for a specific subject let's say any subject you want and the second part you need to define the output that you want for example output is to generate strength and weakness area for improvement and a specific recommendation for the student or let's say if you want to um, if you want to generate like in a fit but yeah in specifically for the subject you can also like type in a new learning how to say self learning tips for example for the student at home like for your student to get reference uh, like for for their home learning right so uh, yeah, what I meant by here is that you can customize your input and output in the way that you want and in any format that you want. So after we type in all the information that is needed for our workflow, we can start generate with AI on Make My Pound. And see, this is the workflow that is ready for you. If you want, if you are satisfied with this workflow, you can save this workflow and start using it. And um, now I'm gonna share how you could, like, how you could utilize a lot of feature on my pal so that you can make your workflow more powerful. So in a workflow, there are some, there are um, different type of agents that is specialized 
for a specific task. So here we have an agent for strength and weaknesses, agent for areas for improvement, and agent for specific recommendation. So in each agent, you can customize you can customize the format that you want for um, for each area. So let's say you want this uh, you want this agent that is responsible for generating strength and weaknesses that produce like bullet point on student bullet point and elaborate the bullet point and also um, elaborate more on each point for example so you can customize like you can write any um, format that you want this want this step want, want the result to to like be generated for you so uh, you can also have some customization here you can change the model setting to any like large language model that is suitable for your purpose and of course if you have any current example of like uh, uh, an effective report that you produce, you can add some training example so that the workflow will learn from it and generate in the format that you want. So that is some simple guys. Furthermore, when the workflow runs, what you could do it, we will come back to the workflow that is that has run previously. So uh, MyPal have a regenerate function here. So you can if, if the workflow generate the result that is not certified enough for you, you can um, type in any requirement. For example, I want more I want um, more insightful point. So you can regenerate with this with this requirement. Yeah, with this requirement. So what I just show you is about what I just show you are about how you could utilize some features on MyPal so that you can build a more powerful workflow for you. So now we will move to uh, to the tip on how you can book run. How let's say you want you have a list of class like list of thirty to forty students in your class and of course you don't want to just put in like student by student like that. It would be really time consuming, right? And you want to run for like the the whole class on of one. So here we have the mm, we have the the here we have the student list that I prepare. So in order for you to run like book run this workflow, you can click on book run and you download the sample CSV file and then you edit on it, edit on that CSV file. So for example, this is the sample list that I have. The sample list will represent the um, column by name of the input that we decide here. For example, grade level, like student name, blah, blah, um, original feedback. So I have, a, I, I have an available list here. So um, my task, my next step is to convert it into a CSV file and then I will upload this file. I will this is the file that I prepare. So I will upload this file and then I will start running in bulk. So the so the list the list is like is that like the list up input into this book run and they start generating the result. So in the meantime, we can see here that I have all the information about the class and it start generating all at one for me. So that is it for today. I hope this video will be useful for all of you and let me know what you think. In the meantime, if you want more TIFF or latest update from us, you can go to our Facebook group MindPowerHub so that you can access more tips, insights, and use cases. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you would receive some lasted tutorial videos from us. We will bring you more use cases and help you, empower you to build more powerful AI workforce that can serve many different tasks in your daily life. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.